point has been updated. All right, Please what's up, everybody? Uh, flying the DJI Spark today. Uh, let me just throw it in race mode real quick, get rid of that beeping. Um, I just kind of want to give a quick little review on what I think of this thing. Right now it's in, whoa, it's in die mode. <laughs> I just crashed it earlier today, too. Uh, broke a prop for the first time. That was a new one. Um, let's see here. Um, let me get that off there. That leaf just popped right off. That's funny. Uh, everything else looks good. It's got a little bit of green grass on it, but whatever. It's totally doable. This thing's tough, man. It's a, it's a tough little tiny DJI, uh, Take off. you know, I don't know, flying tripod. Um, right now the it's in GPS point has mode. Been updated. Please check it um, on that's the kind map. of what these DJIs do best is they just kind of fly in, in the FPV world. They call it like GPS mode. Um, or, you know, something like that. Right now I'm out of GPS mode, which means I have a little bit more of the power, uh, but I can't do any flips or rolls or anything cool. Um, there's quite a bit of latency between the camera and like what I see, not a whole lot, but it's like, it's probably, you know, 80 milliseconds or 90 milliseconds or, you know, maybe greater. Um, it's not very responsive. So I can, like right now, I'm gonna be kind of doing some first person view type footage. I'll just try to take it nice and slow. Um, this is my ugly front yard. Um, but the question I wanted to ask is like, is this a relevant drone in 2020? Um, is, does this have a place on a YouTube channel? And, and I would say, I would argue that like here I am doing it now. Yes, it has a place. Um, it's not the most relevant thing. It's not the most interesting thing. 1080p, 30 frames a second. Um, you know, it just kind of is what it is. It's, it, it can go, I think, I want to say it's like 30 miles an hour now in race mode. Um, I guess we could try to test that out a little bit. Um, I, don't, I just kind of want to have a chill Saturday. There's been a lot of fires going around. Um, a couple weeks back, we had fires here and we still have like residual smoke. I mean, it, I don't know if you can tell, but like, that's not fog around us. That's definitely smoke. Um, one of the coolest things with this thing is that like, I can totally, uh, do some landscape work and, and impress the wife. Um, you know, as you can see, I just kind of cleared out that little section of leaves. So fantastic little landscaping tool. That bush right here is where I crashed earlier, lost my prop. Uh, but let's see if we can uh, get a little bit of speed going. I'll get some height first. Yeah, I mean, it, it zips. I don't want to go full bore. I just, a lot of traffic on this road. Um, anyways, this is... Uh, a really cool drone because it, for me personally, it's giving me a lot of inspiration to fly. And I think it's one of the greatest aspects of this drone is that it just kind of encourages you to get out and fly, unlike some of the larger uh, DJI products. Um, it's small, it's tiny, so you can fit it through some, some tight little uh, squeezes for the most part. I mean, again, I'm, I'm still kind of a, a learning I'm still learning as I go, but uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. You can do quite a bit with this thing. Um, first person view, like I said, it's it, the field of view on this thing. And I mean, the high def part is nice. The latency, the field of view makes it a little difficult to, to first person view, in my opinion. Um, I always trust line of sight more with the DJI drones. Um, however, this drone is making me want to get uh, into FPV drones. It's making me want to kind of push the bounds of what I can and can't do uh, concerning a drone. And, uh, and I like that. So I, I think that this is a fantastic drone. This battery is about to die. This is my weaker battery. This was my first flight. Uh, I've already gone through two other batteries. And this one's already charged up with, uh, with the uh, charger that I have. Um, Speaking of which, I plan on doing more of these front yard videos. Um, I need suggestions on what to plant here in the front yard. Um, not a big fan of whatever these big leafy giant green bushes are. 
right here, this thing is uh, kind of rubbish. Um, anyways, uh, real quick, while well, I still have battery, let's get it back up. Hi, how's it going? Um, oh, a little too high. So, yeah, I think that this drone in particular, like my favorite thing is the, the size of it, the, the compactness. I can throw it into its case, throw it on the motorcycle, cruise out wherever I want to go. And I have this rugged little device that I've, I've crashed this thing too many times and it's fine. I've, I've replaced one propeller. I have, I have one more uh, clockwise propeller to throw on this bad boy uh, before I have to buy more. And that could last months, uh, a year, whatever. Um, low battery, let's go ahead and slap another battery in it. Landing. Okay, well, we're back. Um, and I, apparently this thing's not, I have 24% battery life left on this battery. So, I mean, we're pretty much done filming. I, I have a few more Take minutes off. to kind of answer this question. And I think my favorite thing about this drone, let me put it back into sport mode, get rid of the, the, get rid of the warning sounds. My favorite thing about this drone, I'll try to do a little bit more FPV mode while we're talking. Whoa, 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 no, I don't want to crash again. Ah. <laughs> Into the planter box. I mean, I'm doing a little bit of landscape work here. That's cool, but anyways. Um, Take off. It's really hard to talk and fly at the same time. I think the coolest thing with this drone like why I like it the most is uh, that encourages me to fly more and like, I don't know, it just, it really excites me about drones and, um, and you can get some cool footage. You have that small form factor for mobility. Uh, the 1080p 30 frames a second is doable. Um, again, I need new plants over here. Um, I'm going to ultimately, like I have on order a little FPV, uh, it's called a Tiny Hawk 2. The home point has been updated. Is, um, Please on check order. it on the map. Oh, and this thing does like follow me mode and all that stuff. Um, I, I don't know if I can set that up. <clears throat> it's your active track. Aircraft too low. All right, now we can go. So now it follows me, I guess, is the idea. Um, it's just doing an active track. I'm not doing anything with, I think it's probably just following the controller, if anything. Or man, no, battery it's following me. I kind of set it up. Um, running out of batteries, but uh, let's see. Does it follow me if I go this way? Um, landing no it wants to land because the uh, low power mode on it let's go ahead and bring it to a safe spot for landing anyways I, 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 I like this drone overall it's it's pretty uh, awesome for what it is uh, but it makes me want more which is great and um, the next one is gonna be that tiny hawk ready to fly 175 bucks for goggles uh, a Adding controller mode the works um, again the coolest thing here is this small little case um, has everything I need for charging up uh, a couple batteries in there right now and uh, this unit folds up so you, I could just take this in my in my suitcase or my backpack or Adding whatever mode. or I could throw it in this case um, and carry the controller right in here and whatever extra cables I need uh, a little controller lock device that was relatively inexpensive um the broken broken uh prop from earlier today this is the first thing that's ever broken on this drone um and i've crashed it numerous times just dinking around with it um but yeah props props are good i mean everything on this this drone is very uh good quality so thumbs up um is it relevant for today uh yeah sure why not Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something and I'll catch you on the next video.